In this exercise, we're being asked to convert the point 8 comma negative pi over 3 comma pi over 6 from spherical form into rectangular form. So if this is in spherical form currently, that means we know the 8 is going to be the row, the negative pi over 3 is going to be our theta, and pi over 6 is going to be our phi, rho, theta, phi. And we want to convert that into x, y, and z using all these conversions listed here, where the appropriate ones are the one, ones that, that would work well. Now it turns out this is a lot easier than converting from rectangular um, back to spherical, because look at the first three conversions. They're going to be perfect. They're exactly what we need. We have rho, theta, and phi. And so these three first three conversions will immediately give you x, y, and z when you plug those values in. So like I said, this is a lot simpler, a lot faster, a lot easier than going the other direction. So let's let's get right to it. So our x using number conversion number one will be rho, which is eight, times the sine of phi, which in our case is pi over six, times the cosine of theta, so cosine of negative pi over three, like so. And before we go into y, let's go ahead and finish this guy here. Um, so we have 8 times the sine of pi over 6. Now, it's a huge, huge help to know your unit circle. I really hope that you already know your unit circle well, um, namely the sine and cosine of all the radian angles on the unit circle. If you don't, please take some time to memorize that unit circle. It'll save you so much time in, in your calculus class. Um, so sine of pi over 6, we should just know that's a half. And cosine of negative pi over 3, so negative pi over 3 on the unit circles down here in the fourth quadrant. So that would also be positive 1 half, actually. So 8 times a half is 4. 4 times a half makes 2. So there you go. There's our x coordinate. Let's go on to the y coordinate y would be rho which is 8 times again sine of phi which is sine pi over 6 again same thing times not the cosine of theta but this time the sine of theta which is negative pi over 3 all right let's compute these real fast we have 8 sine of pi over 6 is still a half we did that when we did x now the sine of negative pi over 3 would be negative root 3 over 2. Again, you have to know your unit circle pretty well. Uh, so 8 times a half is 4. 4 times negative root 3 over 2 would make negative 2 root 3. So here's your x, here's your y. We got one more. Let's get our z. All right, so z would be rho cosine phi. So 8 times the cosine of pi over 6. Um, so z would be 8 times, let's see, cosine of pi over 6 would be root 3 over 2 on the unit circle, which would make 4 root 3. So there's your z value. So we're done. We're done. Um, let me just squeeze in my answer somewhere right here. I'll do a bright pink. Help it stand out. So in rectangular form, this would be x comma y comma z. The x is 2, the y is negative 2 root 3, and the z is 4 root 3. So there you have it. This is x, this is y, and this is z. And we got that conversion in rectangular form from these uh, conversions over here on the right-hand side uh, using rho, theta, and phi.